Our top story, a new round of conflicting accounts over Oklahoma's first execution that happened yesterday, the first time since 2015. Four witnesses from the media were inside the state prison in McAllister for John Grant's last moments. They say he convulsed and got sick. News 9's Tevis Hillis continues our team coverage this morning. She is at the federal courthouse with what witnesses say they saw. Tevis? Robin, Lacey, now they described, those witnesses described the execution as painful, while the Department of Corrections said it was carried out without complications. The Associated Press's Sean Murphy has witnessed more than a dozen executions. The sedative drug called midazolam was used in four of them, including Grant's. Murphy says he saw Grant struggling before the potassium chloride stopped his heart. The midazolam, in my experience, appears to take longer to get the desired effect. The sedative is now the center of a legal battle challenging Oklahoma's three drug lethal injection protocol. An attorney for another death row inmate says these executions should have not happened until the trial on the protocol is held in February. This morning, he says in a statement based on the reporting of the eyewitness to the execution, for the third time in a row, Oklahoma's execution protocol did not work out as it is designed to do. Grant's attorney also responding saying, quote, I pray John Grant is at peace now and I pray his death brings peace and closure to Miss Carter's family. Now Grant was on death row for Gay Carter's murder in 1998. She was stabbed 16 times. He was already in prison for four armed robberies. Live in Oklahoma City this morning, Tevisillis, Oklahoma Zone News 9.